We now turn to a story that we've been following closely for the past week. Residents at the Springfield Gardens apartments leaning on help from the community as they deal with concerns over their living conditions. And Western Mass News reporter Matt Satilli now joins us live in Springfield with more on their plan. Matt. Well, Chris and Mary, those residents from Springfield Gardens are gathered behind me here at the Quadrangle with the help of local community organizations, Neighbor for Neighbor in Springfield, No One Leaves. After protesting outside the Springfield Housing Court on Friday, residents from 10 properties are meeting to figure out a game plan moving forward. Many tenants have reached out to our newsroom in the past few days, telling us they have opened code enforcement cases involving their apartments. We also received these pictures from one resident showing a hole in her ceiling, a mouse in the kitchen, and other damage. Katie Talbot of Neighbor for Neighbor, who's also a resident at Springfield Gardens, tells us she's working to take action and bring awareness to their cause. For far too long in the city, in the state, and across the country, tenants have been treated like second-class citizens, um, being forced to live in homes that make us sick, that make us broke, uh, that we get told our problems aren't our property management problem. and, it, and it's tiring. It's happening all over the city. Uh, it's happening across um, Holyoke and Chicopee and Springfield, and, and, it, and it's time we organize and do something about it. Since Springfield Gardens took over two and a half years ago, officials tell us they've invested about $2.5 million into the property. They also say they have had to go to housing court dozens of times in order to access to units to complete repairs. We'll keep you posted with the latest updates as soon as we receive them. For now, live in Springfield, Matt Satilli, Western Mass News.